Hello everybody, we're back. <laughs> we've uh, we've had a few days off. Uh, we just decided, didn't we, that we were going to just take a few days off. I was going to give my thumb a bit of a rest and all that. And uh, quite needed it actually, we didn't realise we needed it. But anyway, we're back now and uh, we thought we would start here. And this is one of the many jobs we wanted to tackle um, sooner rather than later. And this is our pantry. And you've seen the inside of the pantry. Well, this is the outside roof. And it's got cement boards on, uh, but there are one or two leaks. And uh, normally it's usually where the, the bolts go in that there's a few leaks. So we wanted to actually do a repair because we want to get on with the pantry as part of our kitchen renovation. Um, so what we thought we'd do, first of all, clean all the moss off. It's quite a damp corner, this. Um, we're in the rosary garden. Um, doesn't get any sun here, really, does no, it? No, not at this time of the year. And it only gets some sun very late in the afternoon in the summer. Um, so there's a lot of moss building up. So we've scraped all that off today. Uh, what we'll do is we'll spray it to kill off anything else. And then we're not going to remove this cement board because it's, it's actually, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's not broken anywhere um, and what we're going to do is go over over it with tiles and that's a common thing over here you tend to see that quite often and I'll just show you the tiles uh, we're going to put on there I'll get one I think where it's leaking is where they've screwed the bolts yeah. in actually yeah and there's not many leaks um, there's a bolt up there which doesn't look as though it's fixed down properly um, but of course, to to decorate the inside, we have to make sure it's not going to leak. So we're going to take um, some of the board down in the roof. Yes, yeah. because they've actually, they've insulated it, but um, it'd be all wet. There you go. Job done. Let me get another couple. And we've got plenty of these tiles. They're all up on the roof there, but we've actually got. Um, got a massive pile that we were left here, a really big pile, so we can easily do this. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just cement the first couple of rows down so it doesn't shift. And then, um, and actually, there you go. when we do the outbuildings, they've got far too many tiles on them yeah. where they just keep adding them on. That's right, and there's um, no need. Yeah. So, and that'll match the roof up here. So... Yeah. That's what we're going to be doing over the next uh, week or two. Um, that's one of the many jobs we've got. Yeah. Um, and I think that'll look neat. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Yeah. And, of course, where there are one or two little gaps in the bolts or whatever, um, this will provide the extra water waterproofing. So, um, and it's a fairly straightforward thing. All we've got to do is cement up against the wall there um, just to seal it from the top. So I think that's uh, going to look nice. Yeah. And it's an easy solution and it's, uh, well, it's free because <laughs> um, we've got a pile of them. So, yeah, look out for that over the next um, week or so in the we next two or three months. We have to months. let this dry out, I think. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray it uh, to kill off any of the other moss that's there. Um, I don't know how long that takes, a few days, I suppose, to kill it off and then uh, brush it all off and then um, there's nothing to stop us starting this job so yeah um there is one problem though is getting what? to these oh yeah so we'll <laughs> in, show you what we're talking building. about <laughs> another job we've got to do okay i've brought you down to the end of the bread oven building uh bread ovens up that end uh rue de la citadel the lane um is this end and you can see we've got a major problem on this i say major it's a problem on this archway and it's fallen down so basically one of the very first things i did when we moved in i propped this up um just with these pieces of wood in fact that's sunk a bit um just to make it temporarily safe but I'm going to take that down, I'm going to cement it all back in and I need a new keystone here just to make sure it doesn't move. But the reason uh, there's a problem um, getting the tiles is because all the tiles for this um, pantry roof are in here and it's just not going to be safe to come and go uh, whilst that's there. So I need to do that soon and then that will enable me to get the tiles out and to do the pantry roof. So there's two jobs that really... Are, 
are sort of joined up really. I have to do this before I can do the other. So uh, look out for that over the next few days. Okay, I'll just quickly show you. We can just get the camera in through here. Hopefully it won't be too dark. And there's all the spare tiles, but I've obviously got to get in there. So I need to get that repair done. And whilst I'm with the bread oven building, you can see all the moss on this roof. And of course, uh, we've shown you these holes in the roofs before as well. Well, at some point in probably before the summer, I'm aiming to re-roof this completely. Um, the, the wood inside the beams are pretty good, uh, but there's a few gaps and there's one or two places where it's just starting to show signs of collapse. So I want to save this. I don't want it to fall in. The um, the wood in there is beautiful, the, the way they've done the, um, the rafters, etc. So um, that's another job we're going to get done for this year. You can uh, see preferably before the summer. Too many tiles on the roof. Um, yeah, I, I, need all those I, don't know, I don't know whether you can make it out, but in some cases there's only about two inches overlap. Um, you know, where you get a six inch overlap, no problem at all. So there's probably twice the number of tiles on here that there need to be. There's really no need for this yes, amount of if tiles. You look at the end, there's four in a row. There. Yeah, there's an awful lot. I mean, so, I mean that weight just there. doesn't need all that look at all that growth so i've got to get up here and spray this before we do anything more um so there you go there's another job uh, whether i get the whole of the building re-roof this year i don't know but i certainly want to start this end with the um, bread oven building hmm. uh, this is this is another job we have to tackle this this used to be our potager we didn't we didn't get much done last year because of me being ill but um, when I was able to do a bit, it was so hot. It was just yeah. too hot to come out and do anything. So it would a lot of it was too late anyway in the year. We we've got to finish off the fencing along here. Yeah. And dig out all these weeds. But they've just taken over again, really. Yeah, I mean we. The very first year we were here, we moved in in March, and by July we were self-sufficient in vegetables. Yeah. We did really well that first we, year. We were out here straight uh, away. But last year, you know, as you all know, uh, those of you who've been watching for a long time, it was just a write-off, mm. um, and we couldn't get out here. Uh, we made one or two attempts, but we just couldn't make it stick. So, um, yeah, we've currently got three beds that we made the first year. And, and along the wall. And there. along the wall, but we're going to make another two beds down that end. So we're going to have five beds in total. There's a trough behind the camera, which uh, we're going to have. And a bed along a the And a bed here house. in front of what was the greenhouse. Um, so we're looking forward to getting out here in the next couple of months, mm. uh, over the next couple of months, and really working on this because uh, we don't want to buy any more vegetables. They're getting very expensive over here. And, I think they're uh, expensive everywhere. The, yeah, but uh, there's a great pleasure in growing and eating your own. So yeah. uh, look out for plenty of potager work. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to that, aren't we? Yeah, so, and of course, the rest of the wall garden. And our fruit trees, which we planted when we got here, the mm. first couple of weeks. So this, um, this will be the second year they've been in? This will be the third year. Um, 2021. One, two. Oh, yeah, three, yeah. yeah. So they've, they'll have had two established years by March. Mm. Um, so whether we get any fruit this year, I don't know. We haven't had any fruit yet, have we? A we've one, had a couple of little apple. bits, but uh, but we've got all those fruit trees down there, so we're looking forward to that. We uh, did, We planted them along the back there to screen out... The buildings. The buildings behind us. And they, they are growing. So. Yeah. So, so, yep, so look out for potager and... Um, fencing <laughs> I was in the middle of that when you got ill so that's why it's you know um, if we get some goats you won't have to mow the grass then, or, or a donkey okay goats goats chickens donkeys definitely this year definitely this year okay no excuses you heard and, it and here the Avery's got to be done and the Avery for the, for the dove we, we got <laughs> another dove to keep the other one company yes and now we've got two eggs 
we have. <laughs> That's another story. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, what else? So last year I cut through the creeper here because it's just gone mad and we've got two wisterias growing up the house. Um, this one's gone mad but it's it's using the old bits of vine to cling on to but we yeah. want we want to put a pergola up here and have it sort of halfway up the house but growing over here to give us yeah. some shade in the summer. And it'll be a nice feature. So I, I cut through the base of this. Still got that other piece to cut through. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't pull it all off, so Rolls is going to have to do his Tarzan bit <laughs> and get all this off and, yeah. and cut the wisteria back. It, it's, um, it had the Virginia creeper on here and it's all over the place and we mm. didn't want the Virginia creeper on the back. No. Uh, we're happy with it on the front and not the back. So that's a job we're going to sort out. I mean, basically this next three months is going to be a maintenance quarter isn't it yeah. and, and preparing the potage air. it's the right time to yeah. cut things back in the next few weeks it is um, so we're going to show you a few things that we're going to do over the next three months and um, then after this vlog we're going to get on with it mm. no more and resting well, <laughs> it's just so soggy out here we haven't been able to get out and do anything because it's been so wet it has been very um, very wet uh this week i think it's going to be dry yeah although it's cold but um hopefully we'll be able to get out and do a bit yeah we definitely will there's nothing going to stop us now uh we're going to get on with it got some more tree chopping to do always tree chopping and of course it's not just outdoors um there's this place <laughs> lots of work in there as you know um there's a couple of rooms uh we can decorate there's nothing stopping us we don't have to re-plumb or rewire it's all been done just um, a bit of filling. Just a bit of filling of walls and decoration. So uh, that's the rose room and the study. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get on with those in the next uh, few months. Um, lots of work in there. There's still uh, a ceiling to take down. There's lots of stripping of walls. There's lots of putting up wallpapers and painting, etc. So you're going to see all that this year. Um, what else? Oh, shutters I'm, I'm and doors. I'm glad I've got that on video. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> um, shutters, they all need uh, some sort of renovation. They may need replacing and or renovation. They don't look too bad when they're open, but when they're shut... Um, yeah, they don't quite fit together. No. And, you well, know. Uh, this is a good one to show. Somebody's put filler in. It's not wood filler. Um, they, they might sand up okay, I don't know. Yeah, the, the, you, can, you can see where it's been left over the years. The creeper actually grew across the windows. Yeah. Well, they had the shutters closed, but it obviously it all grew across there. So that all needs sanding off. Yeah, but there's some nice metal work in here. So yeah. it's a question of whether they can be saved or not. Some might be able to, some they may have to start from scratch. I, I think the paint's quite thick. They probably painted over it quite a few times. Yeah, so may have to strip it all off and start again. But anyway, you're going to see quite a bit of that this year as well. Yeah. And of course, along with the shutters, there's windows. Um, that's another. That's another. <laughs> I've got plenty of work to do. So, yeah, again, same story. Some of them we can save. Some of them will need renewing. Um, but I'll probably make all the windows rather than buy them. Um, then we can customise them. And I, th I think um, whilst we're repairing a window, we'll probably go for double glazing as well. Mm. Um, we'll keep the wood. We're not going plastic or anything. Uh, but we can get double glazed uh, glass well, panels. With these windows, um, the area that you put the glass in very is very small. So you, you just about you can just about get a single sheet of glass in there, can't you? And yeah. They, these are hardly held in, actually. Yeah. So again, part of that is you can add a secondary frame to the outside it'll all blend in it won't look as though it's been added uh, but that just gives you the thickness that you need to put a panel in mm -hmm. um so yeah so we'll be doing a lot of that this year good 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 she says and of course uh, there's the kitchen um 
Now, the kitchen and the bathroom we made a start on last year, but we knew that both of those rooms would stall at some point uh, because there's a lot of uh, re-plumbing needed. Uh, in fact, I've got to re-plumb this whole place. The plumbing that we've got in here is at best iffy. Um, it's just not great. There's, there's some of it's copper, some of it's plastic. Where they've joined those, I'm not, I'm not and, happy. And actually, to do bits and pieces, we have to drain the whole system down because there's no over isolators. Here, no, they don't have isolate isolating valves. On well, they do things. have them. They just don't bother with them. No. So, um, yeah. So literally, to change a washer, we have to drain the whole system, and so mm. that's got to change. Um, so when we started the bathroom and the kitchen. We knew we'd have to, at some point, start that process of re-plumbing um, because and the, with the bathroom it was going to be a bit tricky because we've had, we have guests coming over, from family and friends, and the gap between them uh, didn't allow us enough time to do that re-plumbing. So um, we're going to have to do it in stages mm. and then once we've got to that point we can then um, start to re-plumb the bathroom. Um, Which, um it doesn't actually have a toilet in there, so we've got, no, to, got to install a toilet in the bathroom. Pipe in. Uh, but of course, the two toilets we do have, uh, they've taken the water for both of those from the bathroom. So if we cut the bathroom off to do it, we also cut the toilets off. <laughs> and of course, if you've got guests, family and whoever coming over, it's not a great conversation to have when they turn up and say, oh, by the way, here's your bucket. That's to flush the toilet with. <laughs> they can go in the outbuilding. There's a toilet out there. There's a toilet out there. Just so. dumped in there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're going to get back to um, the bathroom and the kitchen. Uh, there's still stuff we're going to be doing in the kitchen mm, for now. Just um, prepping, really. But we can't, yeah, but we can't complete it until we've done some other jobs. Yeah. Um, but we made a start. Last year, it was never about providing before and afters um, we just weren't really capable of doing major stuff last more about year. recovery last year just getting back to a place yeah. of sanity really and recovery yeah. so you know the, the afters may take a little while but we will get some before and afters in this year we will finish some rooms this year so we're looking just, forward just to just another setback Ah, few weeks. a petit setback. <laughs> in fact, the nurses um, have been coming in every second day to dress it. It's getting a bit dirty now because I've done that today. Um, yeah, but she's coming tonight. She's to coming tonight, it. and she's very happy uh, with how it's healing. So, uh, and then we've got to go to Nantes on Monday for a checkup there, where they're going to X-ray it, just make sure everything's going fine. Uh, but the pain's virtually gone now, so I'm. Um, because it's numb. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a bit swollen still. So, and thank you for all your well wishes on that subject. Uh, thank yeah. you. But yeah, it's uh, thumbs up time. It's going well. <laughs> that joke's wearing a bit thin. It is a bit. I'll oh, thumbs down. Then. Max. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got lots of work we're going to get on with this year. We're in a much better place than we were last year. Uh, we're really keen to tackle stuff, aren't we? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, look out for that. Me. And yeah. it's this video is the Sunday video that we thought we'd get out on Wednesday instead. Um, but it's now Wednesday, and I think it will be Thursday or Friday. Yeah, we so just got behind with everything. <laughs> <laughs> but we will get back to normal. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this little. Um, Tour, tour. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this little, um, well, resume of what we're going to do. Yeah. Or is that a, in the past a resume? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, on that. I'm going in to get warm. It is a bit chilly. It's taken a bit of a dive, the yeah. weather, so uh, it's gone very, very chilly. It's got we have some minus threes this week at night time. I'm all right. I think hope for my listeners. Yes, you're the one who's stopping. Anyway, we shall see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.